murderer. You owe us answers. This is a shame. This is, this is what we have been fighting against. This is what we've been fighting against since George Floyd was killed. Running away from accountability and transparency. This is shame. Residents of people in Minneapolis need to know this cannot continue. They killed a young man who was sleeping. He did not even have a chance. And for a lot of the media already shared the one where he had the gun holding it. You know if you are anybody who's a gun owner that if your finger is out, you are preparing, but you are not ready to fire because you don't even know who's in front of you. That's right. This young man did not have a chance. This was Brianna Taylor in Minneapolis, and even worse. And the mayor and the chief are running away from questions. In Minneapolis, Minnesota, Amir Locke was killed by members of the Minneapolis Police Department during a no-knock warrant, which the mayor, Jacob Frey, had previously claimed were banned in the city of Minneapolis. This is a fact that many activists pointed out to at a press conference where Jacob Frey was confronted with his apparent inaction in terms of the police department in Minneapolis, which over the past two years have been part of several high-profile cases of police officers killing black residents. At a press conference, Jacob Frey stormed out when confronted by activists who demanded increased transparency and real accountability for the police officers that were involved, as well as a broader level of accountability for the Minneapolis Police Department. Now, Jacob Frey supposedly put together a working group of individuals to try to increase transparency and accountability within the Minneapolis Police Department. Now, of course, Sheila Najad, who was on that working group and had previously run for mayor of Minneapolis, recently resigned from a position on that working group because of a lack of transparency. Apparently, there was a lack of interest in having public involvement in the working group, which is, of course, amid a massive amount of people in the city of Minneapolis demanding more transparency and involvement in the process of making sure that there's accountability within the police department. Now, this instance is reaffirming the fact that Mayor Jacob Frey fundamentally is not interested in changing the police Police department in any way shape or form because another one of the members from that working group actually spoke at this event and demanded to see more from the mayor and threatened to resign from that working group it really seems like Jacob Frey is just deciding to use this as a PR stunt and now that somebody has been killed during a no-knock warrant who by the way was not mentioned in the warrant this is somebody that is not a suspect of any crime to anyone's knowledge all of this well after Jacob Frey had claimed to already have banned no-knock warrants and this is really the shameless type of behavior that you see from a lot of Democratic mayors across this country. Behind closed doors, they'll sit around and work for the giant real estate lobbies and other giant companies in town. But then they'll turn around during election season and say that there's these super progressives who are really interested in structural change and then use the campaign contributions from these business interests to propagate nonsense and lies. And then when they refuse to change their policies and continue to support a police department that is killing people and not just support, but increase their budgets, which Jacob Frey has done, they want to turn around and do this dog and pony show where they pretend to care about the people that are killed by the police department that they keep giving money to and they keep giving cover to. And then they get so upset that they run away from a press conference because they cannot handle questions from the public. And this was all just after body cam footage that was released. And I'm not going to show the body cam footage, but let's just say this. It's very obvious and would be very obvious to anybody that he was just waking up because people were kicking down the door. This is Ben Corolla with Rebel Headquarters. You can catch my show Galaxy Brain on the Young Turks Twitch channel every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to stay up to date with my content, you can follow me at Benjamin Corolla on Twitter. And for those of you that might be wondering or have noticed, my pronouns are in fact she, her.